But yeah. you said something profound, and I want to answer the second half of your question. Um, the prep school route or the JUCO. So I went D1 out of high school, and it ended up working out for me. But even with that, I still should have went prep mm. because when you if you go prep now, I'm going into college at 19, 20 as opposed to 18. Right. That's a big difference. My freshman year of college where I'm playing against Isaiah Thomas would have been my senior year of high school. I don't go to Rice State if I go prep. If I go prep, I'm probably at Clemson mm -hmm. or Mizzou or somewhere like that, you know, but none of that really matters. But uh, I know a lot of people are afraid to go to prep school route or the JUCO route, but it's just giving you more time because like in reality, what colleges are saying is, the reason a lot of guys get overlooked is because basically when they're recruiting you at 15 or 16 years old, right. they're they're taking guys that look more developed, that are men, got physical bodies. Yeah. That was me. I had a I had a college ready body at 17 years old. Right. So like even though I didn't have all the numbers, they could see physically like, this dude could play right now. Yeah. But that's not the reality for 99 percent of high school kids. Mm -hmm. And you getting judged as a man at 15, 16. It's not fair, you know what I'm saying? That's just a system we in. But if you can award yourself an opportunity to go to prep or go to JUCO, you know, JUCO basketball is big time in the right circles. Now, Ohio right. is not that great. If you go to like West Coast or Utah, Nevada, or, you know, uh, Texas, Florida, every night you got 10 D1 coaches in the gym. Mm -hmm. Your practices, all these coaches in the gym. So that's like, that's my advice. Like, don't, don't just give in and take whatever, like, you know, Bet on yourself, you know, that's what it's about. Yeah.